when the narcissist uses a new person to hurt you. When they triangulate you with someone new. The narcissist will discard you. They will put you down. They will cause you to seem less impressive and valuable. They will reduce everything that is good about you. Everything that you were openly given to them. And then they will want to bring this new person to your attention. They want to tell you how you're not anything great. And they've moved on and they're so much happier with someone else. Because they found someone who is everything you're not. It's always the same story. And they want you to know about it. Even after you worked very hard to accommodate them. You protected them. You kept them from harm. Even though you knew they were wrong. You stayed by their side. You were loyal. They suddenly discard you. They find someone else. And they make you feel like you're nothing. You weren't what they wanted you to be. They flaunt this new person in your face. As though it's something that you could never live up to. They found someone better than you. You gave everything you had, but it still wasn't enough. You loved them, but it wasn't enough for them. And there was nothing more you could do. When the narcissist flaunts this new person, there's something they're not expecting to happen. They're not expecting it to go wrong. But even when it does go wrong, they're not expecting you to find out about it. Even when the narcissist discards you and finds someone else, it isn't long until they come back with a hoover. It isn't long until they return to you. You don't know what's happening with them and their new source. The narcissist plays a role. They put on an act. They make it seem like everything's good for them. But if you knew what was really going on, if you knew that it didn't work out for them, after everything they said about you not being good enough, and they gave everything that they were withholding from you to this new person, but then they were just used for that person's amusement, rather than for a serious or practical purpose, they were caused to look stupid and foolish. If that happened, they would not want you to know about it. They would not want to return to you. Especially if you no longer feel the same way about them. And you know that someone made a fool out of them. After they said all of these things about you. Which is why they have to keep everything secret. Because the way they operate, they're always going to experience situations where they fail. 
but what really destroys them is when you discover the truth rather than the false narrative that they want to give to you. They know what they've done to you. They know they lied to you. They know they hurt you. They put you down. And then they left you thinking that you had taken a loss when they're the ones who have really taken a loss but they're trying to keep it secret because they don't want you to know about it after everything they said about you because they know you're not going to feel bad for them they know you're not going to take them back after they tried to replace you and then failed. But this happens all the time with narcissists. They just know how to plan and coordinate the elements of a situation to produce the desired effect. They know how to hide it from you and create a false narrative because otherwise it would destroy the illusion it would make them look stupid. And then they can't come back to manipulate you after you've already gotten over them. After you've already moved on with your life. They already know there's no place for them. And they didn't think they would ever have to return to you. But a good person will always hold value. They need someone like that. So even though they go through things with other people, your qualities never lose their value. Which is why they may want to return to you. If you've healed and you're involved with someone else, they know they can't come back. Because after all the times they ridiculed you, now they're the ones who look foolish. You still hold value, but they're lacking in good qualities. They have nothing to offer you. Because the more valuable you become, the more they diminish in value you will no longer see them the same way. Even if they came back to you, you would see no purpose in them being in your life after you've figured them out, after you've seen everything they did to you, after you've seen everything they try to hide from you. Now you know who they really are and you would refuse to go near them. You would avoid them at all costs. This is why you shouldn't manipulate people. When you throw someone under the bus, it's going to come back to affect you at some point in time, which is why you shouldn't get revenge on the narcissist. Let no contact be your revenge. Don't give them your attention. Leave them to deal with their own mental suffering. Because even if they return to you, it's only going to be for sexual purposes. They have nothing else to offer you. But they know who was better for them. After people have turned against them, after people have lied to them, you never did that. They are aware of that. And they're also aware of everything they did to you. If you maintain no contact, 
there's no way for them to come back to you. But they will still try other ways to gain control of you. They may engage in black magic out of desperation because they can't deal with them not being able to return. But even though they put up a fight to get you back, it doesn't mean they want you. They just don't want you to move on to someone else. They don't want you to be with anyone. Because they realize that when you're away from them, you have value. Which is why they want you back. But they've already messed everything up. So now they can't come back to you. So instead, they will do anything they can to fool you, to keep you under their control. So that you don't engage in something that doesn't include them. Because even if they do manage to return to you, they're not going to be able to sustain the relationship. They would just be delaying the inevitable. Which is why they'd rather put you through a cycle of toxic situations. So that you can't move on and be happy with something else. Something that is meant for you. They don't come back to be with you. They just come back to disrupt what you're trying to build. To prevent you from moving on. And they will do anything to accomplish that. They will engage in black magic. They will engage in illegal activities. To disrupt your destiny to disrupt what God has ordained for you. But you don't have to worry about that because what is meant for you will not pass you by. That's why you're not with them. That's why you're moving on. And they can't change that. They can't do anything about it. So they just leave you alone because they accept that. They accept that they can't change it and they experience regret because they know that they underestimated you. They know they took you for granted. And that's why they betrayed you. That's why they exploited you because they didn't think anything greater was going to happen for you after that. They thought that was it for you. But once greater things start happening for you, they become very competitive because they envy you. So they will always have some stake in your life. They will be involved with your friends or family. They will pop up out of nowhere. They will always find a reason to be around you. But when you no longer care about them, they will sense it and they will panic. They will try to help anyone who is involved with you because they see it as a way to get back in. They will do anything just to stay connected with you because their energy prevents you from moving on. They may not even talk to you, but they want you to hear them. They want you to see them because they're hoping that it will have an effect on you. They're hoping to get a reaction 
but it makes them very predictable. Because you should already know that their energy will produce a certain outcome or result. A lot of negative things will happen to you. It may seem like bad luck. But it's because you're still connected to that energy. You're still connected to someone who has done a lot of bad things in their life. They've hurt a lot of people. And you're connected to them. Which can then cause you to experience some of their karma. Which is why it's so important for you to avoid them. Because otherwise, it will affect your relationships. It will affect your work. Things will just go wrong suddenly and out of nowhere. Things that are not good for you. When you go no contact, and you distance yourself from the narcissist, you detach from their energy and they sense it. But when you're around them, you're preventing them from getting their karma because it's bringing you down. You're taking a bullet for them. Which is why when you leave, they have to find another source of supply. Because they need someone to soften the blow from their karma. Which is why they don't like being alone. Thank you for watching. this video resonate with you please like comment share and subscribe if you would like to donate my PayPal link is in the video description coaching inquiries you can email me at coaching at Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.